This is something bigger than us. What it is, what is good, guys. Now, I know you've probably seen hundreds of posts and, uh, you know, articles relating to the news and riots recently. And, and this is another one. But before you guys just, you know, move on with your lives, I want you to maybe at least take, you know, a couple minutes to hear what I have to say. And just reading all these posts recently is just something don't sit right with me. And it's really hard to try to put into words how I feel, but I, 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 I'm going to try. In talking about the Black Lives Matter movement, I specifically wanted to address the Asian American community. I'm sure many of you have seen mixed reactions and perspectives among the community. Um, and I know myself and most of my followers are Asian. So you and I both know where... Um, you know, where the anti-blackness and the racism comes from. It comes from our conservative roots. Some, some of these roots are more ingrained in some people than others, and it really, it really shows. And, you know, from the subtle Asian traits uh, situations to the NYU uh, Lambda fiasco just a couple days ago, um, despite people, you know, showing their ignorance, I, I just want to bring up that, you know, there's still some good from all this. And the good is that you know, the conversation is rolling, it's going. Something is finally happening. We need to keep this conversation going, not just for the next day or for the next week. Uh, we need to keep it going until it's as commonplace as our talk about uh, raves or Kevin the Winds or Hot Pot, <laughs> you know? It needs to keep going. We need to keep the momentum flowing. To those of you who are taking the time to educate others, I really want to thank you for that. And to those of you who still don't see what's going on, who still aren't aware or don't see the injustices, um, I don't really know how to put it, but uh, you're privileged enough to go out and buy a $6 cup of boba. You're privileged enough to have your parents cut fruit for you. You're privileged enough to go outside and not be scared, you know, for your life. You're privileged enough to have Google and all the social media at your fingertips, you know, at the reach of just your phone. You can have access to the most powerful tools in the world to find countless articles, news, events to educate yourself on this issue. In 2020, you really have no excuse except yourself. And we have to realize that this is something bigger than us. Black Lives Matter, but this right here, right now, is something bigger than Asians standing up for blacks. It's, it's not about being silent anymore. It's about us finally joining others and stepping up to the plate to fight racism together. Before I go, I really wanted to just say that um, if you guys are going out to actively protest or just be outdoors to do something about the issue, um, realize that it's hard to really think about anything else, but we are still in the middle of a pandemic and coronavirus is still a very real thing. So I want you guys to remember to be safe. And if you guys can't, you know, go out and do something. There's still a lot you can do online. Um, there's petitions you can fill out. Um, there's donations. I'll have some of the links here for you guys to actively help out. But I just wanted to, you know, shed some light onto this and say what I wanted to say to just get that off my chest. But yeah, if you guys um, have anything else to say, please feel free to message me, comment, you know, anything. Yeah, hope you guys have a great day.